never ever see homosexuals in the light of darkness again. Um, to give them a chance and to hear them out. They are different than you, maybe me, maybe some of you who are watching this are homosexual. But my point is not to convince you of what you are or you are not. You can only come to that truth. Um, what my point is, is I want to encourage people uh, from all religious walks. My generation is a time of change. I'm 25 years old. I was born in 1986. It is time we stop hating petty things. There is darkness in this world. There is true evilness in this world. There is true hatred in this world. So why are you focusing on tearing people down who show love? You have no right to do that. I'm not changing your religious beliefs. I'm not changing what was written in the Bible. I am sincerely asking you to ask yourself, what would Jesus do? Jesus <laughs> loved everyone. He loved the people who hung him on the cross. What does that say? People don't get that. And sometimes it really irks me. <laughs> Jesus told God, he prayed to God, Father, forgive them. We can't even forgive someone who doesn't give us what we want in the cafeteria or who, you know, rips us off on a tip or who honks at us in the street. I mean, we don't understand that type of love and we should try to understand it a little bit more. We need to have more humility. Christians do. We really do. Jesus didn't come to set us apart on an ego trip. He came to say that we are all we are all God's children. Whatever race, whatever background, he said God is love. He was love. And the message was to love my brother and my sister as their neighbor. What is the highest commandment? Look, I'm becoming a, a preacher here. <laughs> Anyways, this has to end. I have to go on my walk and I have to <laughs> get off my computer. But um, you know, I'm interesting to see what this throws me into. And I, I love that about life, um, being a co-creator. I will never, ever stop being true to myself. People sell their souls for fame. And they get fame. And they want their soul back. I refuse to do that. I will always stand for things. I will always probably be controversial. And I'm not afraid of that. It is who I am, and I have accepted that. I hope my courage, I hope my authenticity, I hope my love gives you a voice. That you speak out about the things that are true and attached to your heart. The things that you've witnessed in your life that have been corrupt and evil and unfair. And I hope you live to empower other people. It is the highest calling of all, and it is the most rewarding. God bless you. Until next time, goodbye.